So if you're looking to use the Trade and View mobile app, well, don't worry, I got you. Because in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to create your watch list. So let's get into it. So the app primarily opens up to your watch list. Now, in order for you to create a custom watch list, because you'll most likely have the default watch list, which is just the, uh, the S&P 500, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, but in order to create a custom watch list, you do need to sign in. Now they do allow you to create a free account and then there are awesome things you have to be a premium member to do, but be sure to click the link below in the summary or in the description so that you can click that link, open an account for free. And then if you decide to upgrade later, you can always do that as well. So now here we have our watch list. So let's talk about the hamburger menu and that's the menu with the three dots and the slashes through it to the left. Go ahead and click that. This is where you can create multiple watch lists. So I already created one that says bearish trades. So if you hit the plus sign in the top right hand corner, I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna create a watch list called bullish trades. Okay. Now you could also create a watch list called, you know, maybe you want one called crypto or something like that. So I'm just gonna go back and then type a watch list called crypto, just for an example. And then you'll have to add a symbol to it. So I'm gonna hit the hamburger menu to go back. So in my bullish trades, let's just say I wanna add companies like Apple. I can either hit the plus symbol in the right hand corner or I can just hit add symbol right in the middle of the screen. Just gonna hit add symbol. I'm gonna type AAPL. Now, if you didn't know the ticker symbol for Apple, you could just type the word Apple and it'll also pull up any stocks that have the word Apple in the name. So the first one is Apple, which is traded on the NASDAQ. And boom, I have now my first bullish stock that I wanted to add to this bullish trades watch list. So you can add a few more. I'm gonna leave that up to you. But if you didn't want Apple on your bullish watch list anymore, if you hit the three dots in the upper right hand corner and you hit edit, I can now put a check mark in the Apple box, and then it gives me the option to delete it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the word delete. And don't worry if you did this by mistake, it's gonna say, are you sure that you wanna delete Apple? In this case, I'm just gonna say yes, just for demonstration purposes to show you, just like that, we took Apple off the watch list. If you wanna go back to your other watch list, just hit the hamburger menu, which is the top left, the three dots with the slashes next to each one. And it's gonna take you back to your list and I'll do my regular watch list. Voila, you get right back to it. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you feel more informed and more empowered on how to use the Trade and View app. Again, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like, and then also hit the subscribe button for more tutorials. And if you're brand new to the stock market or you're struggling to become a profitable trader, be sure to check out Power Trades University and some of our free resources in the description of how we can help you become a better trader and possibly use stocks combined with options to supercharge your potential profits all while protecting your trading account. So thanks for watching. I'm stock market coach and option trader Jason Brown signing off saying, remember, you never go broke taking a profit.